versus Mitten. I'm not sure if this is a actual set or not, but regardless, we're gonna, gonna commentate this solo. I haven't done solo commentary in a long time, but hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we got Mitten setting up all the. Oh, oops. There we go. All right, and the first stock goes to um, yeah, Mitten. Mitten takes the first stock, and you know, just a easy kind of Mithra stock. But oh, and um, Psych up up tilt's gonna take it from uh, from Hero. That moves crazy strong, especially with the Psych up buff. All right, down air. Oh, that could have been that could have been it. You never know with Hero. Ooh, and we've got TRT14 in the chat supporting the uh, the local hero scene here in Ottawa. Love to see it. Love to see everyone in chat. Um, love to see community come out and watch our events here at the Gaming Corner. Oh, and the unfortunate SDs coming from uh, Thorn over here. He don't support other heroes. Well, you know what? I respect that too, honestly. All right. Hey, Dally, do. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Yeah, I was just uh, just noticed there's nobody at the setup, so I figured I'd uh, fix things up and do the do the uh, do the stream. Well, thanks for that. Oh, anytime. Um. Yeah. So this is just game one. Yeah, just and game one. And uh, right now we got Mitten with the stock lead right now. Uh, right. And, and I think I heard you say something about Thorn SDing. Yeah. So he was uh he got he was trying to tech at the side of the stage. And he did the air dodge, and right. he didn't have enough uh, height to make it back. Right. Yeah, I think, like, historically, I think these two have played, like, two oh. or three times. The foot's still set up. Nice. And I think Thorn's taken it every time they've played so far. I see. Yeah. Um, I was actually just talking with Midden earlier, uh, kind of talking about, like, hero threat zones yep. um, and all of that. Kind of my experience playing with, uh, with Thorn. And, right. I mean, so far, I mean... This is a really decisive game one. Yep. I mean, obviously anything can happen, right? But yep. commentator's curse. Hopefully <laughs> I didn't do that, but, um, you know. Right. And those statements being said there, right yeah. now. And, um, yeah, so that's the first game forbidden. And um, the other thing is while you're in there, it's actually round two, I believe, this one is. Round two? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I can, uh, I can whoever wins that. this is in winner semis. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a decisive, tough game because, you know, it's a very, it's very like, um, I'm trying to, well, I don't remember the word, but like, you really want to win this game. You really yeah. want to win, like, because winner semis is guaranteed top five. So. Yep. Yeah, and we're actually doing, um, we're going to do a couple brackets, like test run for timing on doing uh, winner semis and onward best of five instead of just top four. I see, yeah. It's, honestly, for this kind of stuff, it's always depending on turnout. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I know today we have a fairly smaller bracket. Yeah, 15, I think, a, today. I see. Um, but yeah, um, right now Mitten's kind of uh, have a strong start here. Yep. Well, that's the thing, right? It's like you were saying, like how important game one is. It's like not only is it like for momentum, because like you want to win game one, because then you feel confident that you can go into game two, and your opponent probably is a little bit like, what do I need to change, right? So they have yeah. to think a little, a little bit more about it. Not only that, but if you also win game one, like you have the game three potential, like. Yeah. Uh, to fall back on where you, they have to play on your counter pick too. So yeah, exactly yeah. Game one for a best of best of uh, three setup is always ideal to get yeah um, But yeah, it seems like What I'm noticing from uh, Mitten is always like he's always positioning posi Sorry positioning himself in a way that he doesn't necessarily get hit by spells, right? Um, most of the hits he's been taking have been either like a really big side B or um, just aerials or tilts. Yep. Um, trying to land. Kind of closer when the character came out, Mitten actually dabbled in hero quite a bit as well. Oh, so interesting. So he's a little bit more familiar with like the way the character works um, than some others, for example. That's interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. All right. Oh, I saw him think about it. He was <laughs> he's hovering over Kamikaze. Um, I mean, if you caught it this percent, it would probably be worth it, right? And oh, especially with a stock lead. Yeah. Yeah, I think at that percent, the uh, 
Is Kamikaze more likely to show up when you're at a higher percent? Or I actually is it don't. Always the same. I have no idea. I just know that if you're at 160, you don't care about your stock loss as much as if you're at zero percent, for right. example. Yeah. And plus, with the stock lead, you're just continuing your lead further by having two stocks versus one fresh. Right. 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 So it's definitely something you want to uh, consider. Alright. Oh, I, that's interesting. He looked like he was going to go for the the footstool setup, but he just decided to grab him instead. Yep. And, I mean, Thorn kind of definitely has the lead here in this game, but, like, he's not at a particularly great percent. Min doesn't have, have him off stage, but uh, yeah. just as I say that, the <laughs> reversal right there. Yeah, I think I think um, Min realized that, and he was staying Pyro because he was trying to get just like a, an early kill, either with like a down air up smash or just like a, right, you know, repeated off stage. Yeah, and that's that's like another thing about playing against heroes sometimes is heroes like a character that like you sometimes you have to be willing to go for those early kills on hero because yeah. if if he gets one on you, then you're playing from behind. Like he does have projectiles to be able to kind of poke at you the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's definitely tough to play from behind against Hero. Yeah. But uh, last I mean, stock? last stock, yeah. n kind of an even game. You know, it's not like you're not playing two from behind, uh, yeah, no. both on the same stock and Mithra stocks. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that's, oh, no, that's unfortunate. Bad. Yep. Oh, but no crit though. Yeah, it actually kind of what it kind of was actually lucky for Mitten that he got popped on the other side of Thorn because I think yeah. he could have died too. But that psych up yep. up tilt, that's gonna do it. Yep. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. That's that even on Town and City it kills. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, well, like I think I think like right before that up tilt like came out as well, Mitten switched into Mithra, who's actually a lot lighter than Pyra as well. So. It's not that big a difference. It's only no. a few units, but yeah. it, it does matter. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, fun fact about Hero Up Tilt. So one of my, one of my uh, friends that used to play the game, he was dabbling into Hero and Me Gunner and all that. Right. And uh, we discovered that Up Tilt back hit is stronger than the front hit. Not in percent, oh. but only in knockback. Interesting. And only when the Psych Up was active. You would die sooner with the back hit of up tilt than huh. you would on the forward hit of up tilt, even though it's the same hitbox like in the game. I wonder if it's like because some weird um, like compensation thing because if you get hit by like the back hit, you're generally lower than if you get hit by like the top, for example. Yeah. Sorry. Um, you can report to like the desk up there. There's someone there taking the scores. Yep. All right. And, uh, oh my God. That's much is not gonna hit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, yeah, right now, I mean. Seems like Thor a lot of an adaptation has happened on the uh, from Thorn over here. Yep. Yeah, he's just not letting. Uh, no. He's just not letting uh, Mitten come in at all. He's just yep. kind of keeping him out. And oh, foresight. Small punish. Yeah, and Thorn kind of running away with this game like a little, uh, significantly more than the last game. Yeah, he's got an early lead, and he's just taking advantage yeah, of it. Yeah, that's going to be a down there, though. Oh, the taunt. You saw that, eh? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't want to re-grab against Pyramithra. <laughs> oh, let's not let's not do uh, the lavish situation all over again. I don't yeah. know if you, if you were watching Summit. Uh, I watched a bit, yeah. Uh, I, there think, was... I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was lavish against Base Mage. Yep. <laughs> that was a really good spot dodge, actually, from Mitten. Yeah, it was absolutely... Uh, it was really, really good. Really insightful. And you, know, you know what I'm noticing here is Mitten's like actually turned up his speed quite a bit and he's getting thrown into a lot of these bad situations and trying to take that early stock like I was mentioning uh, last game. Yeah. But um, I think like right now it's essentially just Mitten's playing from a deficit so he's kind of got to make it up but he's made up a lot of ground in this time. Yeah. Uh, one thing I will say though, um, one thing I'm just noticing He's landing a lot on Thorn, and Thorn yeah. is taking advantage of that by yep. an up tilt. This is a bad uh, situation for Thorn to be in as well here. He's yeah, going for, he's he's going the for these down airs a lot. Yeah, because he knows he can get a either an smash or a fair or a bear. He's gonna get trumped there, and that that was a smart that was a smart up B for sure. Yeah. I think otherwise he was just getting caught by Thorn there for sure. Yeah, fortunately he didn't turn it around, so yep. cross stage it's not gonna kill anytime soon. Yep. All right, well, small lead coming from Thorn here. Uh, Up tilt, though, and now we're last stock. <laughs> immediately equalized <laughs> by uh, by Mitten here. And last stock, last game. We've been getting a lot of those today, where it's like, 
at least my set versus Bark and this set now. Just kind of like really close coming to the last dock. Yep. Oh, that multi hit. That was really unfortunate. Yeah, and I, it's exactly what you were saying. He's kind of like, well, you, if you want to stay behind, that's fine. I'm just going to use my positional advantage to, uh, you know, I'm not going to approach you necessarily, but I'm just going to keep you in that really bad scenario. And and Midden actually threw out the, the, the blazing end side B there. I actually like, super don't really agree with that because I think if you're wrong as Pyra and you throw out the side B and you guess like where Hero's going to end up wrong, he you're kind of defenseless. Yeah, and you just he's just giving Hero a free landing. Yeah. Uh, blazing end as yeah. uh, against hero, just because of the threat range where hero just has such a good vertical, like horizontal. That's gonna uh, get reflected. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I think I think switch staying in Mithra is definitely smart here because like he's. Oh, and he went uh, for a grab. That I'm neutral surprised. B would have been it here. Yep. And it, it was definitely really smart for Min to stay in Mithra there because yep. he was able to like kind of just outpace Ooh. the bounce. I don't know if he wanted the multi jab there because I think I don't the think gentleman so, no. could have killed. Yep. Just barely yes. missed that. Yep, that that's back it? Here. Yeah, that's yep. it. And that's a that's a set for uh, yep. Mitten against Thorn. Good stuff. Honestly, great set, and it could have been literally yeah. any of those players winning there. Absolutely.